Good morning! In today's Happy Monday, I would like to show you how to talk about hypothetical situations or wishes in English. To do that, we usually use the word wish or the expression if only. If only sounds a bit emphatic, more desperate, I think. There are different forms for expressing wishes for the present, the past and the future. And today we'll talk about all of them one by one. Let's start with wishes for the present. We sometimes want the present situation to be different from reality and to express this wish, we use the word wish or if only and the past form of the verbs. For example, I wish I had a million euros, but I don't. If only I knew the answer, but I don't. I wish my friend were here, but she isn't. You might have noticed that in hypothetical situations, we can use were for all pronouns, singular and plural. You can say, I wish I were on the beach, or she wishes they were a couple. I wish I could. For wishes for the future, the model verbs would or could are used. For example, it's raining now, I wish it would stop raining. Or, I wish I could meet you next week. Al, I wish you would stop doing that. Wishes for the past are formed with wish or if only and the past perfect form of the verbs or had and the third form of the verb, verb three as we call it, if it's an irregular verb or verb with the ed ending if it's a regular verb. For example, you can say, I wish I hadn't spent so much money last month, but I did. Or she wishes she had listened to her mother, but she didn't. I wish you hadn't done that. If you feel like, I wish I spoke English better, or mm, if only I had studied English at school better, Remember, it's never too late. And with practice, motivation, and discipline, your wishes can become a reality. Have a great day. See you next Monday with more tips on learning English. Bye-bye.